Hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of D3 Live. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about why, why, you, why you should or should not build yourself a computer. Now, I am uh, just recently ordered my parts. I'll be ha starting my full computer build series, showing you exactly how to build and how to pick your parts and all that kind of stuff. I'll be beginning that next week, but you can consider this the unofficial beginning of that. And what I want to talk about is whether or not building a computer is actually going to be right for you. Uh, so there's a lot of pros and some cons about building your own computer. So I want to talk a little bit about that before you decide whether or not that that's the way you want to go. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is some of the pros. Now there are quite a few. Now when you build yourself a computer, you have total freedom over the entire computer. You know, let's say you're big into gaming, you want a really nice GPU, you want a really fast CPU, that kind of stuff. Um, let's say you're into video editing. Well, you might want not that big of a GPU, but you might want to spend that money instead on a nice CPU, you know, big hard drives to store your video. I mean, there's a lot of different pros and cons about, you know, like building this computer compared to this and all that kind of stuff. But that's one of the great things is you can customize it as much as you like. And now another really great thing about building your own computer, a lot of times is that's going to be cheaper than what you might buy at, you know, your local store. I mean, sure, you could buy a computer there and then, you know, add some parts, whatever. But typically, once you do that and get it up, to exactly what you want it's going to be more expensive and it's really not going to be as good performing as what you would like so building a computer does have a lot of its pros on, on that side however on the con side there are definitely some that you do need to keep in mind now especially if you really have no idea what you're doing it can be a little bit of an intimidating experience now well, it's not like you need a ton of tools and like years of experience I mean it's not that difficult most computer you know when you build a computer it's very simple you put this into slot a you put four screws in here, you you know plug this wire into that. I mean, it's not extremely difficult, and it's certainly if you take a look at some of the guides, of course, I will be creating one, and there are many other, uh, others around the internet that you can take a look at, you can figure out how to do it pretty easily. But there's always a chance that you could you know cause a problem. For example, if you tried to put like one part in the wrong slot, or you, know, you try to force something in it breaks, or perhaps you, you know, stock it with a little bit of static electricity or whatever, there are definitely some things that you do need to keep in mind, but overall, on the whole of it, I think for most people, if you're wanting something really specific, like you know, a like gaming computer or editing or for whatever reason, building your own computer is a great way to go. Okay, so for the second segment of D3 Live, I will be taking live questions from everyone in the chat. So as always, every episode of D3 Live is filmed in front of a live audience on Blog TV. So we'll go ahead and take some questions. And today, I have a little bit of a special guest, Hostler. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, well, I'm Hostler and. I'm from the Netherlands and I'm 17 years old. Awesome, and if you guys ever come to D3 Live, uh, live if you ever watch the show live, uh, you'll know him. He's one of the ops, the great ops in the chat who keep everyone uh, nice and orderly. So let's go ahead and just take a couple of questions. Uh, Windows 2000 or Windows 7? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, Windows 2000 is an excellent... Oh, oh, I'm just kidding. Windows 7, that's, that's, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> All right. What is the best case for a custom computer? Uh, Hustle, I think you're probably better at that. What What are some of the cases that you really like lately? Um, the fractal design ones are really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, Cooler Master ones, Antec, some of them. I don't li like the Lamboy Air. Oh, you don't? I mean, no, just too much dust. Can oh, okay. In there. In there. That's a good point, yeah. Uh, about the fractal design, a lot of times they don't really have the greatest uh, airflow, though, do they? I mean, I don't know. I haven't actually used any of myself, but from the looks, they just don't look like they're really too friendly to really good big gaming uh, rigs. What do you think? Which one? Antex? No, no, no. The uh, fractal design. Most of their cases, anyway. Well, they do kinda. I mean, you can install two fans in the front, so okay. you kinda have to do that when you are going high end. Oh, sounds good to me. Okay, let's see here. Uh, should I be a video editing computer? There's a Core i7 2600K, a GeForce 9, 580X, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, the, the processor looks really good for video editing. Uh, the GPU might be a little overkill, but 32 gigabytes, uh, I, I don't know. What do you think, Hoss? I mean, do you, don't you think 32 is a little bit overkill? It's a little bit overkill. I mean, you would just be fine with this 16 gig, so. All right. Or maybe eight. Yeah, I pr I think the two is kind of extreme. Yeah, I mean, I I do some video editing on like I a lot of my video editing is done on like four gigs of RAM, and I usually don't have too many problems. So eight eight, eight uh, like I like eight. Yeah, maybe sixteen, but thirty two might be a little bit much. But of course, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and, oh, you edit four K video. I I can definitely see thirty two actually uh, probably yeah. be about right. Yeah, that would maybe sixteen. I still think thirty two is overkill. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, but. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Uh, can you install OS 10? Uh, now that actually is a d decent question. What, uh, what I'm sure they're asking is, can you build a computer that runs Mac OS 10? Um, the answer is yes, under certain situations. So unlike Windows, where you and as, of course Linux as well, you basically install it on whatever you want. There's not a whole lot of restrictions. Um, as long as you get something that's you know made obviously for Windows, which like practically everything is, then you're good to go. However, with OS 10, you basically need to do something that's called a Hackintosh. Uh, now there are several guides all around the internet to doing this. Um, you basically do have to pick select parts. Not everything will work, no matter what. Um, also, do you have any experience building a Hackintosh? No, not at all. Not yet. Yeah, see, I've, I've never built one myself either, but it is possible, of course. Uh, what the best way, step is, is just go online, find a guide to know exactly what parts and what process and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you absolutely can do it. Um, you just, do, of course, need to find the correct parts and everything. Um, how important is a good cooling system? Now that's I think that, that question has your name all over it, Hostler. Very important, of course. I mean, if you want to do overclocking, you shouldn't stick with the stock cooler. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, an H seventy or H fifty is perfect. Mm -hmm. I w I wouldn't go for EK unless you are going extreme. Absolutely. Um, another thing is case fans. Uh, like what? What what is the general like? I know a lot of people like when they buy a case that has like ten case fans and like to fill it up. Um, what do you think for like most like moderately gaming uh, computers? Like how how many fans do you think is is a good thing? And of course, this is pretty general. There are different types of fans and everything like that. But what do you think is like a good baseline that people should uh, shoot for? Including the CPU cooler, I think about four or three for a normal game system, but. For something high end, you should go for way more. Maybe um, just the maximum amount that will fit in the case. Absolutely, that sounds great. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's about it for this week's episode of D Three Live. I'd like to give a big thanks to Hostler. Uh, Hostler, if you want to give yourself a shout out or tell anybody where they can find you, go ahead. You can find me at D Three Live. <laughs> All right, yeah. So of course, you guys can come check out this show. Uh, we do it live every Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, so you can come on by. I do post a video on YouTube, so if you'd like to subscribe, you can take a look and see uh, when we go live. Or, of course, you can watch the pre-recorded episodes later on YouTube.